Well, hello, everybody, and we welcome you tonight to downtown Valley City as we get set for our coverage of the Parade of Lights for 2023 in downtown Valley City here on NewsDakota.com. Ryan coming in with you here today as we get ready for the opportunity to uh, bring you this Parade of Lights coming up here this evening, and we should have just a fantastic time of it coming up tonight as uh, we get ready for what should be just a, a great show. Uh, we're expecting plenty of uh, floats that are going to make their way through here tonight tonight and uh, obviously the opportunity to uh, just really bring you some sights and sounds of the season and of course we're looking forward to this event getting a name coming up here at the end of the night which will be uh, kind of nice in that situation as uh, this event should probably be named and the Chamber of Commerce has been asking for some suggestions uh, for that uh, so we'll see how that goes as we make our way towards uh, whatever this event is going to be called at some point down the road and so uh, we're kind of waiting for that piece to come into play but nonetheless what we're expecting tonight is a pretty good show now they have moved the road close signs uh, that are currently at second street and central avenue and so uh, with the uh, moving of those road close signs that's good news what that means is that we should be ready for the parade uh, to be making its way down the street here in short order it was scheduled tonight for a six o'clock start now where we set up is always at the end of the parade route uh, here on central avenue and so what that means for us is that um as they get closer, uh, we'll be able to catch up with some of the action that's going on. But uh, nonetheless, uh, what we're going to see is a little bit of a time before they get ready. The staging area was uh, up uh, by the youth sports complex. And as some of you can see, the lights just went out. Uh, here on Central Avenue, they've turned off the street lights tonight so that you'll get the effect of what's going on as far as the lights are concerned on the uh, floats that are going to come downtown. So with the lights going off here tonight, that's exciting. Uh, we should uh, bring us into a situation where those lights will even pop a little bit better for us as they come down the street here tonight. Now, as you can see, our view is somewhat obstructed where we set up tonight. We weren't expecting the car traffic that uh, popped in front of KOVC this evening. That kind of altered what we were going to do as far as our live stream is concerned but hopefully uh, that won't be too big of a deal as uh, we get the uh, views coming in of uh, downtown Central Avenue tonight. So just waiting now for uh, some of the final uh, things to take place here before we get ready for the first uh, of the uh, the uh, floats, I should say, to come on down. We hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving out there this evening for those of you that are joining us, and we're happy to have you along with us here tonight for our coverage of the Parade of Lights. Now, uh, the temperatures, well, they're okay. I mean, you know what? It could be worse for an event that's going on downtown at this time of the year, right? I believe right now uh, what we're looking at is 25 degrees in Valley City, so it'll uh, you know make the nose feel a little bit colder. There is just a bit of a breeze that'll kind of make it feel a little bit a uh, little bit cooler if you're down here tonight there's a pretty good crowd that's lined up for this as well so that should make it kind of fun to see how things go uh, and you can see even off in the distance there it looks like somebody's got a burn barrel uh, that's going up uh, that's down uh, a little bit north of second street you can see that for those of you that are viewing today you can see that off in the distance they're trying to keep warm the good old-fashioned way here looks like we've got uh Valley City law enforcement that's down at the intersection of Main Street and Central Avenue as well, ready to marshal some of the uh, traffic that will come through tonight. Also, uh, worth mentioning that after this is over, there will be a lighting ceremony uh, in Veterans Park. So they'll turn the lights on at that point and uh, have an opportunity to uh, get that going in the right direction for the year. The lights are off down there right now. Looks like they're serving up some hot chocolate just to our left down on the corner of Central and Main. So if you have the opportunity to come join us, you should do that tonight. They haven't yet cut off the cross traffic, which is kind of interesting as traffic still able to go through here. And we're not 100% sure about the parade route that we're going to have here tonight. That's the part that uh, is a little bit of a guess at this point. They had the road close signs up uh, up to 2nd Street, but they hadn't closed off this part of Central Avenue. And so we're not sure if they're going to be taking a turn on 2nd Street North tonight and not going all the way down to Main Street, but they haven't blocked off that part of it as of yet. I'm not sure if that's something that they plan on doing a little bit later as the parade route gets a little bit closer or if uh, that's just uh, where the parade's going to end here, a little bit short of where they normally do. Obviously, the summertime parades, they'll end up making their way all the way down towards the walk bridge that goes on to campus at Valley City State. This one might end up a little bit shorter tonight. But good group of kids. We've got all the baggies and all the things that are out here as the kids get ready to try to scoop up some of that Halloween candy, and we'll see what it is. 
that the parade goers have decided to come up with tonight as far as uh, what we're going to see in the floats tonight. Uh, some decorations we anticipate are probably going to be rather extensive. After all, it's the Christmas season and something that Valley City really loves to get into. Christmas in the Valley has been a really, really popular thing uh, throughout the course of uh, a few years now. And like we mentioned, the Valley City Area Chamber of Commerce kind of put this up for grabs as far as a naming competition was concerned. They're looking for a name that sort of uh, encompasses all of the events that are going on at this time of the year. And so what we mean by that, we're talking about the Parade of Lights. Uh, we're talking about the lighting ceremony in Veterans Park. Uh, we're also talking about uh, things like uh, the various events that are going to go on downtown tonight with the extended shopping hours and the treats and all the things that go on along those lines. And so they've been looking for a name that sort of pulls all of that together. And they took suggestions on social media for what that name was going to be. And at some point, they're supposed to unveil that name so we can find out what the event is going to be called going forward. But whoever suggested the winning name is going to end up with uh, the name that they suggested on this event. Uh, that'll be kind of a fun thing to see. And then also uh, $25 in chamber bucks is going to go out to that individual as well. So that'll make it for a nice little added incentive and obviously a little bit of, a, of an additional brand that will come out of this event going forward. So again, for those of you joining us tonight on NewsDakota.com, thank you so much for joining us for our coverage of the Parade of Lights in Valley City this evening. Brian Cunningham with you from the corner of 2nd and Central. Uh, we got some hot chocolate and coffee being walked around by a lot of the parade goers that are out here right now. And uh, obviously you can see a handful of kids that are out there and you can certainly hear them in the background as well. They're definitely ready to run out and grab some of the candy that uh, they believe is going to be thrown to them throughout the course of the night tonight. And we're just waiting for the first parade floats to make their way to us. Again, staging was up at the Youth Sports Complex, uh, so I know that they were getting ready up there. And uh, from there, they'll uh, come down Central Avenue again, the exact route. I mean, we would assume every parade comes down Central Avenue, right? One of the things that uh, I happened to notice when we got ready to set up here today was uh, just the nice Christmas decorations that we have up on the poles. They've really done a nice job of decorating downtown. We don't see the decorations that are behind us yet because we will have the lighting ceremony that's going to go on at Veterans Memorial Park coming up a little bit later. But Veterans Park, uh, they I saw did uh, some some crews that were over there. Uh, at one point today that uh, they were getting the cords out and getting those ready so that they could turn those on right away after the parade was over. So there was that. They were getting ready to uh, to uh, to prepare anyway to make sure that those lights would come on tonight. But some great decorations that are up. The LED lights certainly do pop for us out there. And it looks like uh, we might start to see a law enforcement vehicle coming down right now. If you take a look down the street, uh, you can see some reflections in some of the business fronts of what looks like lights from what would be a law enforcement vehicle. So we may be very close to getting this one started tonight. You've heard, uh, we've heard some uh, announcements on a loudspeaker that we've had for you tonight as well. They've had some Christmas music going on uh, downtown tonight. So really has been a festive atmosphere for us and just kind of now waiting for those first uh, floats to start making their way in front of us. Again, the view that you're seeing tonight is from the intersection of uh, Central Avenue and 2nd Street North in Valley City, right where the KOVC building is located downtown in Valley City. So we're uh, getting ready to see those uh, parade floats come into our vantage point. We'll be able to describe them up for you, and then uh, obviously you'll be able to watch them go through tonight as well. And again, thanks to everybody for joining us for this one tonight. Great to have you along with us. We hope that your Thanksgiving holiday has been a really, really good one thus far. And now uh, lots of people down here taking this one in. And for those of you that are viewing from home tonight, thank you so much for uh, joining us for this one coming up tonight here as well. Still looking, uh, looking down Central Avenue, we can see the reflection of some uh, what would be emergency responder type vehicles out there. So <laughs> just waiting for them to start creeping into our vantage point here so that we can see them go by. But as of yet, uh, again, and like we mentioned, we're at the end of the parade route. So they start the parade at 6 o'clock, and that means the parade starts up on North Central Avenue at 6 o'clock, but that doesn't mean it starts here. And now we see uh, this vehicle that's driving by right now is actually, I believe, an unmarked law enforcement vehicle as well that's going to come down and help marshal some of the traffic, and they may be the ones that are going to start blocking some things off uh, for us. Uh, and here comes, it looks like, the first set of vehicles that are out there for us here tonight. We heard 
a bit of a siren in the background. So let's see what we have here. And now for those of you that are joining us, you can see them in the background. Here come some law enforcement vehicles to get us started tonight. And again, with the lights off downtown, boy, you certainly get a really nice pop out of those lights coming through. And we do see law enforcement now beginning to block off uh, Main Street as well. That's to our left. But we see some law enforcement vehicles coming through, and you can pick up that some are decorated with the Christmas lights tonight. So that's kind of a cool effect. At least one set of Christmas lights that was out there. And that's going to be how we get this one started tonight. And we'll take a look up the street and see what we have coming up for you here. Uh, looks like some more law enforcement vehicles that'll be joining us. And they have got a fire engine. For those of you that are viewing this tonight, you can see a fire engine that is really decorated to the nines up a little bit further on the street here tonight. So a couple of law enforcement vehicles to get started. And here comes a fire engine. You can see that rotating red light there on the front, kind of like a pinwheel. And then uh, there's obviously, it looks like a Santa Claus that's up there. You bet. Let's get Santa Claus into the fold here tonight. Santa Claus up on top with some reindeer on the top of that fire engine. That's kind of a cool thing to see. And it looks like we've got a fire person behind him. Might be on rollerblades tonight coming down the street. Boy, you don't get to do that very often this time of the year. Normally, we've got plenty of winter going on on Central Avenue, but that's not necessarily the case tonight. Another float here with... Uh, uh, fire engine. That one's got a Santa that's inflatable and a Christmas tree as well. And behind that looks like another fire engine that has a snowman out on the front and more Christmas lights that are there also. And now some blinking Christmas lights on another fire engine. But I'll tell you what, the fire department did an outstanding job of decorating up some fire engines tonight. Hopefully there aren't any emergencies for them to respond to, or it'll be an interesting looking fire engine that's going to report family of snowmen on the back of that one as well. And you can hear some great music going on in the background as well, along with all the sirens that are out there tonight. Valley City Fire Department, a little bit of a the snow, fake snow coming out of one of those machines out there tonight as well, giving us a little bit of a look of snow. We don't need a whole lot of a look of snow, but I guess every once in a while it's okay to have, right? And uh, an ambulance that's leading another, I believe, first responder type vehicle here. That's going to be... One of the uh, ladder trucks, I believe, or one of the extendable trucks. And look at all the lights that they packed in to the back of that one tonight. That is just an unbelievable look tonight. Lots of Christmas trees and things like that on the back of that. Looks like another inflatable Santa. No, that's not an inflatable Santa. That's somebody dressed up as the Grinch throwing out some candy for the kids tonight. So there comes some candy. And here comes some of the, I believe, commercial exhibitors that we're going to have now. So we saw a pickup come through. And it looks like some blinking lights around uh, the windshield and things like that there. And here comes a plow. This must be from the city. I believe the pickup might have been from the city. That was Public Works and the pickup that came through. And now you're seeing one of the big plow trucks going through as well. Look at all the lights that they have on that around the blade up front and also all the way down the back decorated up with lights as well. Boy, that's a great look that we have there from that particular float coming through. And again, that'll be one of the big vehicles that comes through from the city tonight. So a great look there. Then it looks like a little bit of a delay behind that here this evening. So we'll see what it is that we have coming forward from there. Yeah, the plow truck that came through. Wow, we got a car coming through. You know, I don't. we got to make sure that we... Uh, uh, next time around, we get those side streets cut off because I don't know that we need a whole lot of traffic coming through. We got this many kids out there running down some candy. That's a little bit of a danger. We probably didn't get that one planned out all the way through like we needed to. And it looks like there's a bit of a delay holding up before we get into some of the rest of the events that we have here tonight because uh, that plow truck that came through certainly isn't supposed to be, I don't believe, the final uh, float that's supposed to come through. But it's surprising to me that we still have side traffic coming through on 2nd Street tonight. That's one of those issues that going forward, uh, planners of this event want to take care of before that happens again anymore out there. So a delay here. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. No, I think I'm good. I've got a cold beverage up here, and I'm all right with it. <laughs> <laughs> being offered uh, a beverage tonight to try to stay warm. and uh, It's not terribly cold out here tonight. You know, I mean, 25 degrees, that little bit of a breeze does make it feel like it's about 15. Uh, so a little bit of a wind chill in the air, if you will. But certainly not uh, the worst conditions. We had a much, much more painful winter last year, obviously, than we're having right now. And the crowd that stretched out on Central Avenue here is still looking up the street to see 
where the remainder of the exhibitors are going to be here tonight for this Parade of Lights. And so we'll wait with them here as well. But again, thank you for uh, joining our broadcast here tonight on NewsDakota.com. Looks like we're going to see even more traffic coming through on the streets. And looks looks like that car decided to stop uh, before it got into the intersection and probably just leave those lights permanently red, I would think. They've still got the stop and go lights going on on the intersection here. And so they're going to continue to allow cross traffic to come in tonight, which is a little surprising. And also a little bit uh, surprising that we've had this kind of a delay uh, going on as far as... Uh, the next float's coming down the street. I'm not sure if something happened up front that caused them to get a little bit out of order or along those lines, but we'll have to wait and see what it is that uh, is kind of holding up the progress of the parade here tonight. But again, thank you for joining us tonight for the Parade of Lights in Valley City on the corner of 2nd Street and Central Avenue in Valley City. Ryan Cunningham with you here tonight. Lots of people downtown this evening set to usher in the Christmas season. We had a number of first responder vehicles that came through, and you can see some of their lights in the background still kind of going off, but there's been a sizable delay in getting any of the remaining floats to come down the street here at this point, which is, I guess, not expected. And again, one of the reasons could be you see some more of that cross traffic that's going through on 2nd Street here and just rather puzzling as to why that didn't get shut down uh, earlier tonight. So. Not sure if there's something there, but it looks like something's coming into view now, perhaps, as we start to uh, see another vehicle coming down the street. And we'll see if we start to get some more of the exhibitors. You can see that just coming into your screen now. And that would be about halfway between 2nd and 3rd Street. And kind of going a little bit more slowly. We'll see what it is if they just kind of slowed the parade down to try to deal with some of that cross traffic up further or if we're pulling some things. It looks like this one is pulling a pretty big trailer behind it that has all the lights on it. The emergency lights are on on the front of the pickup, but as this one comes into our screen, we'll see what it is that we have. And it looks like there's a lot of light on the back of that one as it makes its way into our screen tonight. So we'll see what it is that some of the exhibitors and some of the citizens and business community has come up with for us here tonight. This one seems to be pulling. And up next, looks like we have another vehicle that will come through. And we'll see what kind of lights that we have on the side of that one. That might be the KOVC vehicle. I wonder if that is. I know the KOVC vehicle was supposed to be a little bit further back, but we see some green lights in the interior of that one. And now here comes a loader that's all decked out. And that does look like it was a bit of a nativity scene. Little angels that was in that one that came by. That was kind of nice to see. They kind of loaded that up with a big star, but this loader, look at how decked out that thing is. Lights all the way up and down the tires and around the cab. And they're using the uh, the pointer of where the snow goes. That's a snow thrower is what that is, using the pointer of where that snow thrower is aimed to kind of move those lights around so that you can see uh, kind of the, that thing move back and forth. And now we see a car coming through. It looks like some reindeer antlers that are on the side and that big red nose, obviously, that's supposed to be a Rudolph that's coming through, so a vehicle that's made to look like Rudolph tonight making its way through the parade. That's very creative. I like that. Candy going out to the kids behind that tonight. Great loader coming through as well, waving to the crowd that we got to see come through a moment ago. Another vehicle coming through up front with some lights right out in front. Boy, that Rudolph, that was all lit up in red, including the red nose, obviously, but all the lights are red on it as well. And it looks like here is a perhaps Valley City State University float that's coming through. Looks like they've got a big Viking head that's up the front of that, and the Viking ship that's behind it, so that'll be a VCSU vehicle that's on its way through tonight. Tough to read with the lights off as to where the exhibitors are coming from, but that's a Viking ship that's being pulled. So definitely a VCSU theme on that one. And then behind that is the KOVC vehicle. And the KOVC vehicle with lights across the top and the rotating light up on the front. And there's just enough lights there to pick up the fact that that's the KOVC vehicle. So that's pretty cool. That uh, car in front of the Viking ship was Dakota Bank. We got, we got to see that as it came into our vantage point tonight. And the big Viking ship that's coming through as well. It looks like there might be some athletes that are on that Viking ship tonight. So good to see them come through also. 
And then behind that, it looks like another Santa Claus vehicle that's coming through, the big flatbed trailer. And Santa Claus, they made that flatbed look like a sleigh as it makes its way through. So Santa Claus, or is that a Grinch? I thought I saw just a handful of green back there. So we could see a Grinch. We could see Santa Claus. We'll have to wait and see. We'll tell you what that looks like as it comes by us. But that's a great-looking sleigh float that they put on there as far as the flatbed was concerned. And throwing out plenty of candy there as well. Now, as we see the next one come in, that previous one that had the flatbed trailer will try to pick up who that is. It's tough to, again, see the signs on the side of the vehicles here tonight without the lights on. And I believe that was, was it a Grinch? I, I'm not able to tell. Okay. I'm the, it, 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 that, that was a Grinch. The, uh, the flatbed said Mary Grinchmas that was on there. Here's another big star coming up and maybe another nativity type scene that's making its way in to the vantage point. And you can see people rising up and throwing out the candy from there. So, yep, the big star uh, indicating sort of the nativity look and the reason for the season, as they say, coming through tonight. And another big lit up a vehicle that's coming in behind that as well. Again, our vantage point downtown in Valley City tonight on the corner of Main or rather of uh, Central Avenue and 2nd Street North in Valley City, bringing you the Parade of Lights 2023 here in Valley City tonight. Pleasure to have you with us here tonight. The uh, latest nativity scene that came through is from Grace Free Lutheran Church. That was the nativity scene that just came through that exited your picture. That was from Grace Free Lutheran. And now we have a pickup lit up, lots of lights on top with a light bar, pulling another trailer as well, and a handful of those that are going to be coming through here in short succession. So definitely picking up a little bit of pace now. You can see that that uh, pickup behind it's going to have some uh, signage that is lit up. We'll attempt to read that for you as it comes through. But they're uh, stopping to throw out some candy. It looks like another flatbed trailer behind that tonight also. And good to see this many exhibitors. You know, I kind of wondered how many exhibitors they'd get. It's the uh, Saturday after Thanksgiving, so a lot of traveling, things like that. You wonder who's going to be around. But looks like they've had some really, really good participation tonight. You can see this flatbed coming into your screen now. Multicolored lights. And a great scene. The uh, pickup a couple in front of that had a Christmas tree type thing in the back with a power generator. And before that, it was uh, the Hot Rod Junkie Show from the Bridge City Cruisers. And the one in front of that, actually behind that, was CHI Mercy Health that had the multicolored lights here. We see the uh, flatbed white lights coming through with a big old snowman running behind that one. And uh, it looks like a loader trying to chase down that snowman with a present in the front and the snowman running away from the skid steer loader. That's a creative look. Absolutely, it's a creative look. And uh, the snowman trying to evade the loader, that might be some of the best fun that we've had so far in this one tonight. And we see some more coming as we have another flatbed trailer that's going through your screen right now. And we may have, it looks like Grinch is kind of the theme this year. We've had plenty of Grinches. He just picked up an entire Christmas tree back there. And uh, we'll see what it is that he's going to do. Looks like he just threw the Christmas tricks like some more vehicles coming in. And we hear some small engines now as well. That Grinch that came by us, that tree goes up and down is the way that works. The tree comes up and goes back down. And a vehicle here with more lighting in the interior, just a few lights around the wheels. And now we see that big pickup with another flatbed coming through. And it looks like uh, some smaller cars on the back of that. Lots of kids throwing out candy in that one as well. We'll see if we can pick it up. The vehicle that came through in front of that did have a Snoopy that was in the back scene. And it looks like the lights are coming on now. That might be the end of it. Stout Miller Incorporated was pulling the latest flatbed trailer. And they had a couple of really, really small vehicles behind that as well. And now with the lights coming back on, that may signify that we've had the end of the parade this evening as it looks like the vehicles that are behind that are just regular passenger vehicles that are going to come through. So really nice parade that we had tonight. Not an incredibly long one. Took probably about 15 minutes from our vantage point to make its way all the way through tonight, but really saw some creativity. Again, lots of heads up to the city crews that got in there and decked out all of that machinery that they had with all those lights to get things started. They worked extremely hard. Fire department, police, they put a lot of work in and all the uh, 
locals that came up with a really Grinchy type of theme tonight. Man, we saw a lot of Grinch type themes come through here this evening, and it was a lot of fun to bring to you. And now people will be making their way over to Veterans Park so that they can take in the lighting ceremony there. And hopefully we'll allow the people that are there to come on down and take that one in this evening as a lot of the traffic begins to walk its way downtown. Just a reminder, though, you can see the road close signs are going back up. Some of the business fronts downtown are going to have extended shopping hours tonight. They're going to have some treats that are out there for you as well. So there's still a whole lot to do in this one this evening. So come on down to uh, Central Avenue tonight and also all around town. But Central Avenue is going to have a really nice festive atmosphere tonight as we uh, finish up our parade of lights here in Valley City. So come on down and join us for it uh, later on tonight and have yourself a great night. Thank you for joining us for our coverage of the Parade of Lights this evening. I'm Ryan Cunningham for I3G Media, KOVC Radio, and NewsDakota.com.